Hi, I'm Liam from Cataclysm, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your BIOS on your MSI motherboard using two methods. You can update your BIOS through the BIOS interface or using the BIOS flash button in case your PC won't boot. Today we'll be using the MSI B650M Gaming Wi-Fi for this demonstration, but this process applies to most MSI models anyway. You'll also need a formatted USB stick regardless of its size. If you don't know how to format it, we'll show you that later too. For the flash button method, you will need a separate computer on hand to download the files, and you'll also need a screwdriver handy. Timestamps are also available in the video description. To get started, you'll need to find the exact model of your motherboard. If you're able to boot into Windows, press the Windows key and type system information. In the window that appears, look for baseboard product under the item column. The corresponding value will show you your motherboard model. In this case, it's the MSI B650M Gaming Wi-Fi. But if you're unable to boot into Windows, you'll find the exact model printed on your motherboard. To find it, you'll need to remove your side panel. It's usually secured by two screws, which you can remove with a screwdriver. But in this case, we're using a glass panel, which just pops off. The motherboard model is usually printed near the RAM slots and CPU socket here, like in this example. Now that we have the motherboard model, we'll need to download the latest BIOS that's available. In your browser, search for your motherboard model. In this case, it's the MSI B650M Gaming Wi-Fi. Click the official MSI product page and click on the support tab. Find the firmware slash BIOS section and download the latest non-beta version. We'll need to copy the downloaded BIOS file to a formatted USB and I'll show you how to do that now. Before you format the drive, make sure to copy any important files before we format the USB because it will be wiping the flash drive clean. First, plug in your USB stick into your USB port in your computer. Back up any important files as formatting will erase the data. Right click the USB drive in File Explorer and select Format. Ensure the file system is set to FAT32 and click Start. After a few seconds, a window will appear saying Format is complete. Just click OK and move on. Now that we've formatted the USB, we'll move on to getting the BIOS file onto the USB. You can do that by double clicking the downloaded zip file and opening the folder inside. Drag and drop the BIOS file, not the text file, into the USB stick. There are two methods for updating a BIOS, through the BIOS interface or using the BIOS flash button on your motherboard. If your PC boots normally and you can access the BIOS, use the BIOS interface to perform the update. However, if your PC doesn't boot normally, use the flash button method. To follow the instructions for each specific method, go to this timestamp. With the BIOS file now on the USB stick, we'll need to enter the BIOS. You can do this by restarting your PC and repeatedly pressing the delete key to enter your BIOS. Now that you're in the BIOS, navigate to the M flash option and select it. A window will appear saying the PC will reboot and enter flash mode, select yes. Once rebooted, select the USB drive and select the BIOS file. A window will appear confirming your selection, select yes and the update will begin. Do not touch or turn off your PC during this process. It will take a few minutes and once your PC is done, it will automatically restart. With the BIOS file now on the USB stick, we'll need to rename the BIOS file. Right click on the BIOS file and rename it to msi.rom. A window will appear saying, are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. Remove the USB stick. On the PC you're flashing the motherboard on, make sure to switch off the power supply. Insert the USB stick into the designated BIOS USB port. It's usually indicated on the rear IO of the motherboard. If not, refer to the manual. Switch the power supply back on and press the BIOS flash button located at the rear IO. A flashing LED light indicates the process has started. It will usually take around five to 10 minutes, but if it stops early, double check the USB drive and the file is named correctly and try again. Once completed, the PC will turn off and restart automatically. You've now successfully updated your MSI BIOS. But keep in mind, this will reset your settings to default. So if you've made any custom changes, such as enabling XMP or custom fan curves, you will now need to reconfigure them. 